Hello everyone, my Serang here, and I'm just doing another Father Garcia run with the buff that I gave it, where it does 3 damage. Which becomes 5 damage if I have no soul cards. We can one shot pawns. So I already did a, I already did one run with this. And it seemed like it was it was good. It was fun to play and it didn't feel too weak. It didn't feel like it was too strong either, like I kind of I had a lot of situations where it was really close and we like barely won the run. So let's uh yeah, so it, it seemed fine. But I do want to get more than one impression of this gun. Okay. Uh. Hmm. So all pieces minus one HP, but all pieces plus one HP. Okay. Um. All pieces less HP, but all pieces faster, and I have more firepower. And it's hard for me to hit anything if I'm not next to it. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like having minus three ammo max. Like even with getting three ammos on th ammo on night kills, I think having three only three shells in backup is a bad idea. I'll just take double target. Whatever, we got a 90 degree fire arc, who cares? <laughs> that was three damage. Not very impressive. That was six damage, okay. So now that I'm adjacent to an enemy piece, wait, why do knights have nine health? What? Oh, because they, they lose one-third of their health at the start of the round. That's how this card works. Okay. Alright. So, now that I've given a whole bunch of pieces more um, speed... Might be a good idea to um, like try to get more pawns. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. We'll make pawns slower, but we can't kill them. This is tough. Both of these uh, white cards seem pretty bad. King carries pawns, bishops, and queens. And can move orthogonally. Yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll deal with iron pawns. I've done this before. Mm -hmm. Alright, I want to move right up to this knight. And... okay. We can't even... we can't even get Bloodless Coup because, uh... We're playing without... Unmodded cards. Yeah, look at that. We just, like, cleared out everything before... Like... yeah. Before these pawns became even a remote threat. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, losing a soul slot and gaining a firepower. Oh, you can take Devil's Bargain multiple times. Okay. I'm not going to do that because I don't want pieces. I don't want bishops and knights moving every turn. That just seems like a recipe for disaster. All right. Um, we do eight damage, so we're guaranteed to get a kill here. Queens have five health. I think bishops move before knights, so I don't. I think we're fine doing this. Yeah, 
Okay. I was kind of expecting this, like, iron pawns thing to be a big problem, but it's actually not. Oh, get back here. Okay, there we go. Hmm. <laughs> oh, pawns lead poison. I think, yeah, I think you can only get this if you have iron guard. Because of the, I don't know. Maybe? So... All pieces get minus three speed on their first move. The bishops can't die. I think I'm gonna go with the lead poison. Now pawns are gonna be practically immobile. Look at their look at their speed. They start out moving every five turns, but then you know, minus three. Minus three again. So they move once every eleven turns. Yeah, I think that'll be pretty good. Alright. So even though our accuracy isn't great, it's not horrible, and we have a lot of firepower. So the great thing about the about this whole pawn build is that um yeah, yeah. The whole great th the great thing about this pawn build is that the pawns mess up the enemy pieces almost as much as they mess up me, or maybe even more than they mess up me. Oh, if the king is going to approach me on this side, I don't even have to get past the pawns. Cool. Ooh, I can just make every piece really slow. I had two knights. Knights can move orthogonally. Okay. Or I can just make the king faster and get a little better aim. Uh, hmm... Going down to one shell in my gun. All pieces minus three speed, so pawns get another speed penalty. That's funny. You know what? We're going to do it because pawns moving every 14 turns is probably, probably good for me. Um, okay. I'm going to use my soul card to just get some extra damage. Oh, right. Okay, so if I can get some accuracy boosts over the course of the run, that would be pretty good just to make knights a little less dangerous. Alright. Can I do four damage to this knight? It's not guaranteed. I'm not going to take it. All right, bishop is uh, light squared, so going on a dark square is good. I'll keep the queen soul until I want more firepower. Oh, I got more ammo regen somehow. Oh, from dark resolution. All right. Okay, cool. Oh, it's like, I'll just get rid of the king. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Well. Hmm. So Soul Medallion with um, Purgatory is like a combo, but yeah, I don't have Purgatory. Yeah. Okay. I'll just take. I'll take Soul Medallion. And now we're just gonna have to deal with having. One, yeah. Until I until I get this one kill, yeah. There we go. We have ten firepower now. We should be fine. All right. Now this queen will approach me. Okay. Cool. That's the most damage I can do to the king right now. So the great thing about pawns being invulnerable is I don't have to worry about discover checks when I. Oh, you know, siege tower combined with holy sanctuary is certainly. A nuisance. Let's go here. Oh, well, you get extra turns. That's neat. Am I just gonna be like clearing out rooks forever? Like,
Like, they take too long to get here. By the time I kill one, another one shows up. Okay. Um... Oh, but queen, the king is slow enough that I can get rid of a rook and then get rid of the king. Okay, sure. Add a bishop every 10 turns. Wow, add a bishop every 10 turns and add a rook every 10 turns? Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, we'll just take purgatory. It's, in our, it's our insurance policy if you have to use soul near the end of a floor. And yeah, I don't care about adding all this stuff on turn 30. Probably should care, but I don't. All right, let's go get rid of the queen now. We do so much damage that we can get rid of two pieces with one shot. Yeah, Scroll of Confusion combined with Devil's Bargain seems pretty good. Um, okay, I'm gonna move like this. And then... All right, there we go, got the double kill. So I was hoping for... Yeah, it's fun not having to worry about discover check. And yeah, as long as we can approach... Yeah, we can use a soul card to approach. Okay, if we can win within the next four turns, that'd be pretty good. Aha, just in time. Okay. I think backups coming sooner every time I kill something is going to make Siege Tower plus Holy Sanctuary a little too hard to deal with. So we're taking another Devil's Bargain then, I guess. Pawns are still incredibly slow, but now everything else is going to be pretty fast. Nope, I shouldn't, shouldn't use a soul card yet. Um, oh yeah, I'll just go here. Oh, I thought the... Wait, knights have 10 health? What? How do they have so much health? I guess the 66% HP... It just, like, sets their HP to... You know, two-thirds of their max HP. So stacking it doesn't do anything? I'm, that's what I'm guessing is going on. Well... In that case, that was not a good combo to take. Yep, because everything has a lot of health. Um, okay. 14? Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> Alright. Well, in that case, um, oh, I made a mistake. No, I can't. This is going to be, this is going to be a gamble then. A big gamble, yeah. All right, well, we tried. So I found a combo that you really don't want to take, which is just Devil's Bargain twice. Oops, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.